Tim Lincecum and the Phillies have quite a history. At the age of 22, he made his Major League debut against the Phillies almost six years ago to the day. And in 2010, the Giants and Linscum stunned the entire city of Philadelphia by winning game one of the NLCS. Tonight, Linscum takes on the Phillies again next. Beautiful night for baseball here at AT&T Park as we get ready for game two of this three-game series, Phillies and Giants. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper. Alongside me is Mike Kruko. Well, the Giants ran into a very tough Cliff Lee last night, and uh, the stories around the Phillies is this Kyle Kendrick kid. He's pretty good. So what are the Giants going to have to do? Well, they have to be patient. He's a, he's a, a pitcher that has an outstanding changeup. And guys like that, you can't look to pull. You basically have to be very patient and take what he gives you. I think one of the keys tonight is going to be Angel Pagan back in the lineup. He'll be leading off, and he's been an igniter the last couple weeks, so getting him back is a plus. In regards to Lincecum, Lincecum is 5-2 and two against this Phillies team, and this is a Phillies team that when he got to the big league six years ago, they're basically the same guys. So he knows them. He establishes that low fastball. He'll be tough. All right, should be a good ball game here tonight at this beautiful yard. Hunter Pence, he had a big game last night against his former team. When we come back, Amy G is going to take a look at that right after these messages.
by Jack in the Box. The Chipotle Chicken Club Combo is back for a limited time. Add Jack in the Box. Try one today with fries and a drink for just $4.99 plus tax. And by Toyota. Do the math and save at your local Toyota dealer. Well, after winning six straight, your San Francisco Giants lost to the Phillies last night. They look for a bounce back win this evening as we get set for game two of this three game series against Philadelphia. Welcome back to AT&T Park. I'm Amy Gutierrez and Cliff Lee was simply stellar last night, but so was Hunter Pence. Lee only gave up five hits on the evening. Pence had three of them and we're going to take a look at it right now. It's our AT&T U-verse rewind this evening coming into the game. Pence, the only giant who had homered off Lee and he did it again in the second inning up the left field bleachers to the fifth inning right center a single and he wasn't done his third AB of the night Woo, took it out of him a double down the third baseline now Pence is six for 11 against Lee in his career Lee quoted last night after the game saying take Pence out of the lineup and it would be a really good day he's tough on me all right, can Tim Lincecum be tough on the Phillies tonight? The Giants fans are certainly hoping so. He goes up against Kyle Kendrick. Crook and Kipe will be back with first pitch and lineups. But first, after these messages, we're going to check in with our fellows standing by at Willie Mays Plaza. It is Say Hey Tuesday. Stay with us.
the beautiful night game time weather is presented by the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. The admission free boardwalk is open this weekend. 61 degrees here at the yard. We have winds at 10 miles per hour. The humidity at 78 percent. It is partly cloudy. Tim Lincecum will lead his team out of the dugout located along the third base side. The lineup that he'll be facing looks like this. It'll be Rollins Utley and then Michael Young. Ryan Howard has got four lifetime home runs off of Tim Lincecum. It'll be Ruiz. He did not start last night, hitting fifth tonight. Then Dominic Brown, followed by Nix, Revere, and then Kyle Kendrick. On the hill tonight for the Giants will be Tim Lincecum making start number seven. He's two and one with a 4-4-1 ERA. And look at the strikeout totals. Averaging more than nine per inning against 17 walks. 50 base runners in 34 and two thirds. When he's right, you're going to see a fastball that's uh, less low, low to mid 90s, more lows than mids. Got a good curveball slider split combination. 28 years old in his sixth year at the big league level. Lifetime against these Phillies, five and two with a 3.00 ERA. He knows them well. He's pitched a long time against these guys, and a lot of them have a lot of advantage against them. Let's take a look at the defense playing behind Tim Lentz. Couple nights starting the nice left field. From left to right, it's Blanco, Pagan, and Pence. Crawford and Sandoval on the left side of the infield. Scudero and Bell on the right side. Buster Posey, he'll be in the squad, putting down the signs. Nice to see Angel Pagan back in the lineup. And the first pitch of the ball game is on its way. And it's inside, so we get started at 7 14. Rollins takes high. Remember Mike DeMuro now behind the dish. Rollins went 0 for 4 last night with an RBI. And there's a strike to make it 2 and 1. So the first strike always calms everybody down. DeMiro, Bellino, Barrett, and Marquez. Let's hit out of play. It's 2 and 2. DeMiro strike zone. He likes the low strike. He does not have big corners, and it's a tight zone. If you were to rate it a pitcher's umpire or a hitter's umpire, you would say he is a hitter's umpire. Seen a few of those lately. And this game starts out with Jimmy Rollins swinging and missing on a split. Watch the release point. As long as that release point's out front, then he's going to be able to start stuff mid thigh and let all of his specialty pitches drop below the knees. Here he uses the split. It's the same thing for the curveball and the slider. So here's Utley. Utley in the ball game last night went one for four. He drew a walk. And here he takes a strike on the inside corner. Now if the radar gun is right, that was at 94. Now he's been flirting with good mechanics for a while, and it was just a matter of time before he locks into him. And when that happens, and he gets his mechanics back, he will get some more velocity. On deck is Michael Young. Utley, in 30 at bats, has five lifetime hits against Lincecum. One of those hits a double, another of those hits a home run. On the outside corner. One and two. Take a look at the pitches that he throws and how frequently he'll throw them. And fastball most of the time. The slider is his, his most used specialty pitch. The curveball is his least used. And then talking about the histories of Linscombe and Utley, this is the 31st time that he's faced him. Linscombe has struck him out 12 times. He's only walked him once. 6 home runs, 21 RBIs for Utley. And it's a full count. Phillies are 15 and 18. They're 3 games under 500 in the National League East. They're 7 and 8 on the road. They are a veteran team. Off of Lincecum. Lincecum will recover, flip and throw, and he throws it down the right field line. Scudero cannot get to it, and Utley will jog into second base. 
know, the thing about coming over to the sideline as a pitcher on a play like that, you, you think you have no time, and you really do have time to get a little more balanced to get off a more accurate throw. So a mistake from Linscombe, and it winds up being a 180 foot mistake. Threw a hit and an error. That's a generous call. And here's Michael Young. Now, what if he goes ahead and throws a one hitter? You're going to think about that. That's not a hit. Young had a good ball game last night. He went three for four. Ball hits off and comes back towards the line. Now he comes back to get it. Here's where he had a little more time than he thought. Hurries the throw. And it looked like he was throwing to Dan Bellino, the first base umpire. In tight. 2 and 0. See where it hits him. Right on the right cheek. You're going to get hit. That's a good place. Two and one now to Michael Young. I think of all the pitches that he has, the one he feels most confident in throwing when he absolutely has to throw a strike is that slider. Utley trying to walk into a lead. As Young takes inside, it's three and one. On deck is Ryan Howard. And it's low, so Young takes the walk. So here's Howard. Very dangerous. One for five last night with three strikeouts. Crawford will keep an eye on Utley. He'll also play Howard to pull. And the first pitch is outside. One ball and no strikes. So Linscom trying to get used to the stretch. No overshift, but Scudero playing Howard to pull on the infield. And it's 2-0. Well, this is definitely a get it in pitch. Beautiful thing about his slider is it will get ground balls if he keeps it down. And he needs one here. Scooter out. Caroms off of his glove. Utley's coming in to score, and it's 1 0 Philadelphia. It's the game of inches. If he comes up with that play, it's an easy double play. Top spin liner, just an absolute bullet coming at you with sink. And you got to get over there and try and catch it on your backhand. And Marco Scudero is not going to be happy about that. So here's Ruiz. Ruiz. Just coming off the suspended list. He's two for 20. Swing and a miss, nothing in two. Five for 20. The history between Ruiz and Lincecum, and these numbers lifetime we give you do not include at bats and postseason. This is fouled out of play. A 22 pitch inning so far for Lincecum. And Ruiz, another good rip. 
And a nice catch by a fan in the front row of the club level. Hey, the game's all here. Yep. Blocked by Buster Posey, an important block. It's one and two. So they're always, it seems this year for Lincecum, been that one inning where he's had to pitch his tail off. And in this particular night, it's the first inning. Straightaway defense in the outfield, straightaway defense in the infield. Yeah, the alignment they've set up right now is pretty much where Abner Doubleday put them. Got him. 93 mile an hour fastball with cut going away, and he gets Cruz Ruiz rather to chase. Two strikeouts, two swing and strike three. The two types of fastball that he'll throw, uh, the four seamer and the two seamer, both with really different movement. One, the four seamer will have cut that runs away from a righty. The two seamer will go the other way into a righty away from a lefty. Here's Dominic Brown. Brown has only faced Lincecum three times. He's 0 for 3. Did have a hit yesterday, and it was a long home run. Took one big bounce into the cove. Two balls and no strikes. And he beats the scout report. Book on his pitch him inside. They go inside and he just yanks. Completely opened up. And the way that he took his stride leads me to believe he was looking for something middle end and he got it. So it's two and one to Brown at second base is young. He walked Howard at first in RBI single off the glove of Scudero and that pitch is wide and it's three and one. Next pitch will be number 30. It's not uncommon to see him throw a lot of pitches in the first. Three and two. Yeah, Brown helped him out. This gives you an idea of how much he wants to swing the bat. He's sitting on a 3 1 count. He did the same thing in last night's ball game. Swung at a, a fastball and a 1 0 count completely out of the strike zone. Just sitting in count leverage and just launching no matter where it is. Got him. Lincecum limits the damage. 1 0 Phillies. Bochy's lineup, but Angel Pagan back in the lineup, followed by Scudero, Sandoval, Buster Posey, the cleanup hitter, and then hitting fifth is Hunter Pence. He's got a six game hitting streak, and he's hitting the ball hard. Blanco back in the lineup, followed by Belt and Crawford, and then Lincecum pitching and batting ninth. 
On the hill for the Phillies tonight is the right-hander Kyle Kendrick, 6'3", 210 pounder. He's 28 years old in his fifth year at the big league level, and this is what he has done in six starts. He's been good, three and one with a 2.43 ERA, and especially his last four starts, he's locked it in. 29 strikeouts against 10 walks in 40 and two-thirds, and not going to blow you away with a lot of velocity, but he will impress you with movement in the fastball. He'll sink and cut the fastball. He's got a slider and a changeup, and his changeup is legit. It really is a split. But nevertheless, it's a great off speed pitch. And he'll throw it any time. So here's Pagan. Last played on Saturday. And he takes a strike on the inside corner, and it's 0 and 1. Hitting at 275 with a home run and 13 runs batted in. In at third is Michael Young. Giants are 19 and 13. They've won six of seven and are 11 and five at home. Foul back, good swing by Pagan, one and two. Let's check out the defense that Phillies will play tonight behind Kyle Kendrick, starting in the outfield from left to right. It'll be Brown, Revere, and Nix. Rollins Young on the left side of the infield, Utley Howard on the right side. And Carlos Ruiz will be in the squad putting down the signs. And Pagan got a piece, so he lives to see another pitch. Best arm in the outfield for the Phillies is in left field with Dominic Brown. The one two to Pagan and Pagan out in front this time he could not get a piece of it and he comes out limping. He's reaching for that split. And the right leg is where he's been experiencing the problem. As he put his weight forward on that right leg, it buckled a little bit. Scooter takes one in tight, one and zero. Oh. Sandoval on deck, and Scooter takes one right. Down Broadway, and it's one ball and one strike. Man, that's a good sink. You'll see a lot of ground balls from Kendrick with that two seam fastball. On the ground, Utley will try to cut it off. He does. Two outs. Take a look at the Pitch usage for Kendrick last year. And look at how many more fastballs he's throwing this year. 64% of what he's throwing is a fastball. And that's because of the, the use of that sinker cutter combination. I mean, he's throwing a lot more of them. Slider, he just kind of has, doesn't really throw it a lot. He cuts the, the fastball, and the changeup is his best off speed pitch, but yet he's throwing those less this year. So the fastball really become has become his go to pitch. Here's Sandoval who hits one to the left. Moving back is Brown, and Brown will put it away on the track. And that'll end the inning. After one, one nothing, Philly.
area is brought to you by Cash Creek Casino Resort. Cash Creek's Great American Cash Giveaway. Thousands of dollars every weekend. Visit CashCreek.com for details. Well, the series continues tomorrow, and it'll be a day game, so check out the final game of the series at 1245. Barry Zito will be on the hill for the Giants. It'll be Jonathan Pettibone as this is lined into right field as Lance Nix doesn't waste any time as he singles in the right field. So check out the game tomorrow. Visit SFGiants.com. Well, Lance Nix hit that like he knew it was coming. He was sitting on one pitch, one location, and got it. He got everything into this swing. First pitch challenge, fastball, middle end. And he just tells you if he's looking fastball, what side of the plate he sits on. Middle end. Something to remember if you're pitching to him. So here's the speedy Ben Revere who takes down low. Hitting 212 with five runs batted in. Did not start last night. He did get into the game late. In at third is Sandoval, and now Lincecum's got to throw him a strike. And those are easy takes. He's 34 pitches into the night. He's throwing 17 balls. He has not gotten that release point located yet. Still searching for it. Hit up the middle and in the center field past Lincecum. And now it's set up perfectly for Kyle Kendrick. All right, let's check in with Amy G. Amy. All right, gentlemen, as expected, Jose Miharis activated off the restricted list today. Giants option Gene Machi to Fresno as the corresponding move. And gentlemen, the skipper Bruce Bochy making it a point to talk about what a good job Machi did while he was here, saying that the way he performed let the team have the utmost confidence in calling him up at any time. Bochy said he has the equipment to be here, a good fastball split and slider. And when Machi is right, he's very tough to hit. So job well done by Gene, guys. All right, here's Kendrick who lays down a good bunt. Sandoval will take his time. Both runners move up, and Kendrick does it on the first pitch. Can't do any better than that. Runs the first and second, should go down the third base line. And as you point out, on the first pitch, definitely feeds the momentum of a good inning. Well, in regards to Gene Machi, I mean, he, he really opened up some eyes here, and he'll be back, no question. Well, you know. A lot of times it has nothing more to do than having options left. And you can be the odd guy out and that's what it was with. With uh, Gene Machi. So here's Rollins belt and Sandoval will play. Even with the bag and that's hit on the ground to Scudero. Scudero will make the play at first and Nix comes in to score it's two nothing. Well, the Giants playing their middle infield back. They're trying to stay out of the big inning. And that ball is right on the nose. If it's fifth, sixth, seventh inning, you're bringing that infield in in a one run game. But nevertheless, a nice at bat from Jimmy Rollins to get the job done. Defense was giving him a, an RBI up the middle. He just took it. So here's Utley with Ben Revere at third and two outs. Utley hit a ball off of Lincecum and reached first and then went on to second on Lincecum's wild throw. Here he hits this one up the middle for a base hit and it's 3 nothing. Nothing fancy pretty disciplined approach going right back up the middle. Talked about the success that Linscombe had had against Utley lifetime coming into tonight's ball game, and that at bat right there is just Utley not being greedy. Yeah, I mean, look, Utley hasn't exactly stung the ball, but he's doing everything right. Hit it back up the middle. So here's Michael Young. Young drew a walk in the first inning as Dave Rigetti says what he needs to say. 
Kalinskim opponent batting average. With runners on, 309. With runners in scoring position, two outs, they're hitting 368 against him. That's when he's least effective. Well, I will tell you this. There's a time where it was just the opposite. Well, absolutely, it was the time. And it was when he had better command of his stuff. Because what happens with men on base, he'll pitch for the strikeout early in the count, he'll fall behind. And when he falls behind, that's when they get him. You go back and look at all those counts with runners in score position, I guarantee the majority of the damage that has been done to him has been when the hitter has had count leverage. One and zero to Young. Two and zero to Young. Behind in the count. Behind in the count, and, and he doesn't have that problem when he's in the lineup with nobody on. Hunter Pence is going to move back, starting to drift, and Pence will put it away in front of Archway number four. It's three nothing Phillies. and insurance brokers. Insurance and financial services for you and your business. Visit HEPINS.com. It's 3 nothing Phillies as Buster Posey stands in. 283 for Buster Posey. Four home runs. 19 driven in. Buster actually thought that that was a strike. He's one for two lifetime against Kendrick. Pretty much all two seam fastballs coming off the hand of Kendrick right now. And to follow. And that's the breaking ball. That's his slider, more of a slur. It's kind of a cross between a slider and a curveball. But he's got good feel with it. He spots it well. Two and two. Buster Posey last night went 0 for 3. Giants had five hits last night, and Hunter Pence had three of the five. And Kendrick comes up with his second strikeout. Good split. First time that he showed it to Posey was in the two strike count. And 
That's a swing and miss split. You can see the action on this thing. It just dies. Pulls you way out front. So here's Pence. See the numbers at home for Pence. He's digging AT&T Park. And a high fastball makes it one ball and no strikes. He ended up going three for three with an RBI last night. Pence now with 20 RBIs on the season. He does lead the club in home runs with six. Oh yeah, he had one of those last night too. Yes, he did. In a two strike count, I might add. Follows this one just in front of us. Look at the first couple of starts for Kendrick. He did not have a changeup. And when all of a sudden he got the feel of the changeup, opponents hitting 194. Slugging percentage down to 258. Talk about how powerful one pitch can be to a guy. That's a great example of it. First two starts, ERA of 5 4 0. In the last four starts, he's been the best pitcher on this team. 2 0 with a 1 2 4. And that's being locked in. Down the right field line, foul. Right man, right spot. And the 2 2 to Pence. Pence shoots this one into right center field. Nix is coming in and he'll put it away. Look at that. I mean, that, that's a pretty productive at bat, even though you make it out the first time through the lineup, because what Pence got a chance to see there was everything. Yeah, everything. You bet. That Kendrick throws. Well, that's valuable knowledge. And that's the type of bat you try to have the first time. Here's Blanco. Blanco did not get into the game last night. Here he bunts this one. It's a pretty good bunt. And Blanco is out at first on a terrific play. It remains 3 0 Phillies.
Brought to you by The Solar Company. Not just any solar company. The Solar Company. Phillies with a run on the first, two in the second. Here it'll be Howard, Ruiz, and Brown. Overshift is on for Howard, and Lincecum falls behind 1 0. It's a very difficult time for Lincecum with that first pitch strike. Side two balls in a strike. Sandoval at the shortstop position. You, you know you can pitch effectively behind the count, but you have to have command of your secondary pitches. And you just walk a fine line when you're consistently 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 3-1. Regards to his mechanics, I mean, he's not that far off because you look at the velocity of his fastball. We've seen 94 miles an hour tonight on the fastball. You're not going to throw that type of fastball unless you're snapping the ball pretty good. But it's just not consistent. Well, another 3 2 count. And this really is a get it in situation. And the walk. And an easy take. Well, one common goal, the official Giants commemorative book about the 2012 championship season is here. Forward is written by Buster Posey. The afterward written by Matt Kane. Exclusive photos tell the story of a team that refused to give up. Relive this great time in history for only 40 bucks. Visit your local Giants dugout store to get it. Or you can go to sfgiants.com and click on the fan tab to order. I think they sh showed a picture, Mike, of us working very hard before a ball game in Miami. Actually, if if, if I recall what the picture looked like, it looked like I was working hard in the booth. There's not a whole lot of stress in that booth right there. <laughs> we got to we got to look a little more stressful. Well, if you look in the other booth, they look like they're stressed out over there. <laughs> they look like they're earning their paycheck. <laughs> uh, you know, the other problem about not having great command is that you don't get the corner pitches. As soon as you get that umpire thinking ball, he's going to start looking for him. And those corners all of a sudden they go away. Heads up. Okay, we're good. Two and two to Carlos Ruiz. Three and two. Very frustrating for the pitcher, as you can imagine. Hit on the ground to Crawford. Crawford, a nice stab. He goes to Scooter O. Scooter O to Bell. And Lincecum needed that. Badly a 3 2 perfect ground ball to Crawford. And two submarine throws one from Crawford one from Scooter. Oh, they get the pair. And it's amazing how something like that can turn you around. Here's Dominic Brown who takes 
a ball one ball and no strikes. It's come struck out the side in the first inning. He did allow the one run. This is rolled foul. It's the ball and a strike. On the ground to belt, and now it hit Brown's foot. So it's one and two. I'm not sure about that. Buster Posey is saying I think he's making a case too. I mean, if a guy hits a ball to the foot, I want to see him at least limp. I agree. I mean, if that's if I'm pitching to him. All right, the old left-hander, the old Sox. It's Ken Walling down there on the first base side tonight. Our ball dude. Up the middle. Scooter roll to belt. Side retired. So the double play helped. Life is good in the cold. How about a cold one? The Phillies, Larry Anderson. Why does everybody stand up and sing, Take me out to the ball game when they're already there? Bell takes the ball, one and all. That's a good question. There's a lot of oddities in baseball like that. Belt, base hit, left field. First hit for the Giants, and that's a good sign for Brandon Belt. Yeah, and I think uh, other guys in that dugout should pay attention to the approach, go the opposite way, especially from the left side. There's Larry Anderson. He had a birthday yesterday. Yeah. Good dude. Okay, Mikey. I don't know if I could pull that off. Uh, I remember a team party where you had something like that on. <laughs> well, it was just for an hour. Here's Crawford who takes inside for a ball. Oh, yeah. G. Gill. Hey. Have a couple of cocktails, go in the garage, and you never know what you might come up with. Hey, <laughs> you got enough glue, you could make it work. Come back in the house, put it on your head, and say, "Hey, hun, what do you think?" <laughs> I think you should wear it to the park. 
Yeah, that's that's definitely made in the garage right there. You can't buy that. My goodness. Crawford down the left field line. This is trouble. It is trouble. It's a fair ball. And it bounces into the seats for a ground rule double. Dominic Brown came very close to hitting the highlight reels tonight. And that would have been the play of the month right there. They're set up on that inside corner. It gets a little leaky out of the play. The inside outs at the opposite way. And he got slow out of the box. I think he thought it out the crack of the bat. It was going to be foul. But look at the effort from Brown. It's like he overshot it a little bit. Two at bats, two hits. Two hits the opposite way. Here's Lincecum with the infield in. And Lincecum takes wide. One ball and no strikes. Lincecum's got an RBI this year. He's one for ten. But this is when you can be a better hitter with that infield in. You can poke one through the infield. Just have to make contact. Any kind of contact. Put it in play. I have no idea why they're playing the infield in. With a three run lead, I, I don't understand it either. But it's an opportunity to go big. There's the overshoot with the glove. Yep. Get a really good look with our third line camera basket. Swing and a miss. Two balls and one strike. Now just as you said that, they sank Chase Utley back at second, and now Jimmy Rollins, the shortstop, is going to play normal depth. And Charlie Manuel heard you. While back two and two. This is the case if you're Lincecum. The perfect out would be a ground ball to Utley. Now with a score run and it would allow Crawford to go to third. That would be a very productive out. And Lincecum strikes out. A back foot slider for the payout pitch, which is what Kendrick was playing for. He was pitching for the strikeout, no question. Every pitcher would with a pitcher up. So here's Pagan. Pagan struck out in the first inning. And here he takes a strike, a fastball at the knees, and it's 0 and 1. Yeah, that's big time sink on that, on that on that fastball, that two seam fastball from Kendrick. He locates that thing on the inside corner of the lefties. It's going to be tough to stay in there for it. Outside to Pagan. Big at bat right here. Jazz have to get something out of this at bat. Now it's one and two. And that's that front door sink we're talking about. And you see that thing and you know that's going to be inside. Then all of a sudden here comes the movement back in the strike zone. And watch this thing come back in. He backs off actually thinking it's little, it might hit him. So Pagan now tried very hard to put the ball in play. Now Ruiz is going to come out and talk about it. The discussion right there is all about location. 
It's amazed me every once in a while you see a catcher go out there have a discussion, come back behind home plate, put the sign down, the pitcher shake him off. I never could understand that. Changed his mind. Into center field. Revere is there. He's got it. Belt is tagging. Here's the throw home, and it's cut off. And Pagan gives the Giants a run here in the third inning. And like Mike said, that's a big run. Well, that's a good at bat too. I mean, he got the situation, and he nailed it. And it did have a two-strike count. And really, he didn't get a hanger either for Kendrick. That thing was down on the knees in the outside corner. Watch the location. They set up on that outside part of the plate, tried to backdoor a little little cutter. Now Ben Rivera on center field does not have a good arm. They're gonna they're gonna challenge him all day long. Here's Scudero. Scudero down the left field line. That's gonna knock in Crawford. It's a 3-2 ball game. Marco Scudero. RBI number five on the season. Well, uh, we're going to make that our forward right choice. And with two outs, Kendrick's thinking, all right, I can minimize the damage. Get out of here, give it up one run. Comes back here with a sinker. First pitch challenge. And Scooter opens up on it and fires one right down the third base line. And that is a huge momentum change right there. To extend this inning in a two out at bat, knock in an RBI and get closer. We're going to make that our forward right choice. So now Sandoval will hit. Sandoval leads this team with 24 RBIs. And he takes Lowy. Lined the ball to left field that Brown caught on the warning track. High and deep, and I think foul. Well. Oh my goodness, these guys actually have to move. <laughs> this is a red alert right uh -oh. here. Whoop, whoop, here we go. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> All right. And the brawny guy that sells paper towels just made a nice play. Ooh, that got the mirror and rocked him right, the, right in the face. Goodness, come running in is Ted Barrett, along with the other three umpires. This is as solid of a hit as you're ever going to see. And he almost lost his feet. Dave Gresser coming out. We're going to take a long look at him. Trying to go inside to Pablo Sandoval, and he just spins on it. <laughs> oh, man, just 10 more feet to the left. This is a great fire log right here. Got to hit the boat. Pull up anchor. Uh-oh. Is he down? Oh, no, he's up. Not at any point. Did they think they were going to have to actually move tonight? <laughs> oh, he just spilled his beer. Got his leg wet. They don't care. Goes one and two to Sandoval. I listen to John and Dave on the radio. Sandoval lines it to right. Nix is going to reach up and put it away. And that'll end the inning. Nice at bat for Sandoval. It's a 3 2 ball game.
your answer to CSN Giants. Question tonight. Rollins and Utley have started 986 games together as a shortstop second base combo for the Phillies. What Giants se shortstop second base combo has started the most together in the San Francisco era? Again, if you know the answer, tweet your answer to CSN Giants. So the Giants with a couple on the board, inch to within one of the Phillies, and we head to the top of the fourth. Phillies on top, 3 2. It's like the cover of a book, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Gorgeous. Here's Lance Nix who ambushed Lincecum and he does it again. All right, let's check in with Amy G. Well, Dwayne, we're switching it up tonight and we're going to talk about a great San Francisco giant that used to be a Philly. And here's why, because we're talking about this guy. That's right. Mike Kruko was a Philly in 1982, just one season. But what a season it was, over 200 innings. He won 13 games with a 3.12 ERA. My favorite part, Mike, is your swagger coming off the mound. You're looking good. He came to the Giants after that season in a very high profile trade for Joe Morgan. And Mike, I got to tell you, you looked good in blue and red, but you looked way better in black and orange, guys. <laughs> he looks way better in everything. Well, thank you, Amer the Gamer. I enjoyed my year in Philadelphia. It's a fun town to play baseball in. It's the only time in my career I ever was in a one team town. Oh, yeah. You can tell who her favorite is. <laughs> yeah. Well, why not? One ball and one strike to Ben Revere, who singled and scored in the second. Runner goes. Posey's throw is offline into center field. And Nix will not have a chance to move on. First stolen base of the year for Lance Nix, and he just took advantage of Linscombe's slow release. And it looked to me like Buster had a great grip. Looked like he threw a pretty good cutter out to Brandon Crawford. Not close. Three and one. Pitch number 65 for this game. And that's dribbled foul, third base side. Three and two. Are there ball dude, Kevin Walling? So a couple of lefties out there tonight. A dad and a son, right? Got him. Strikeout number four, and that's the first called strike three. And he got him in a nice little slider that locked up Revere. And that's exactly what he was pitching for the runner in second, nobody out. So he gets that strikeout. So here's Kendrick. A sacrifice bunt for Kendrick in the second. Here he takes a breaking ball for a strike and it's 0 and 1. Mix them all in right now, Tim Lincecum. Foul back, nothing in two. On deck is Jimmy Rollins. 3 2 Phillies. Got him. Big curveball for the payoff pitch. And Mike Muro says, see you later. I'm in a problem here, Mike. Well, she's feeling a lot better now that Jazz got a couple runs. I want to know who's got the keys to the car. Mm -hmm. 
Rollins on the ground to Belt. Belt with those long strides and Lissacum after a leadoff single by Lance Nix. Giants are coming up. Posey, Pence, and Blanco. Problem. The San Francisco Giants. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of San Francisco Baseball Associates, LLC. All right, time now to ask and answer our AT&T trivia question. Our AT&T trivia question tonight. Rollins and Udley have started 986 games together as a shortstop second base combo for the Phillies. What Giants shortstop second base combo has started the most together in the San Francisco era? Well, it was Jose Uribe and Robbie Thompson, and they were fantastic. They indeed were. Here's Buster Posey. Great teammates, the both of them. Posey, look out, right back to where it came from, and Buster Posey with the leadoff single. This is called the Crazy Crab. That's here at the ballpark. And. You got to try one. My goodness, they're fantastic. They are fantastic. You, you got, they're an investment, but you will be, you'll enjoy every bite. They're that good. Lucille is going to take the fanatic out there for, he's buying, I guess, for a crab sandwich. Yeah, the Philly fanatic can eat too, by the way. Pence with a big swing and a miss at a curveball. He had a fly ball to right field. In the second inning. There's the crazy crap. And there may be a line. It's worth the wait. They're that good. That whole area out there behind the center field scoreboard is fantastic. Fantastic. On the ground, it could be a pair. Young kicks it. Everybody's safe. And the Giants catch a break. Well, that's a two out mistake right there. And it's just all about the exchange. He snags it, and right here, he can't get a grip. And boy, you just want to take a bite out of it. You also want to go to the mound, and you want to look that starting pitcher right in the eye, and you want to say, I am really sorry. You do. But instead, you might tap your chest and say, My bad, and move on. Cannot linger on a physical air. It's a Hunter Pence fan. So here's Blanco. Blanco tried to bunt his way on in the second inning, and Kendrick made a nice play to throw him out. At the knees, and it's 0 1. Mm -hmm. 
Posey at second. Pence at first. Look out. Watch one. your lips. One ball one strike here. If you square around the bunt or turn the bunt, you never know. This could happen. And he almost leans into it. And the, and the ball almost hit his bat. That would have been a rough strike. I know one thing, it got his attention. It changed his expression in the middle of the middle of this at bat. One and two. Front door to with that sink. You want to accelerate a guy's bat speed, throw it in his face. Accidentally. Accidentally. It's two and two now to Gregor Blanco. Blanco, two for eight history against Kendrick coming into today's game. Well, Kendrick's trying to strike him out here. We're at second over the out. The beautiful thing about Kendrick though is I mean, he's got that sinking fastball too, so even if the ball gets put into play, it can still get hit on the ground. Such is the life of a sinker baller. Got him. Backdoored him with a little cutter. So the strikeout he was pitching for, he gets. So here's Belt. Hendrick will have to get through three left handed hitters here. Belt lined a single in the left field to open up the third inning. Front door sinker. As big a movement as Kendrick has on that. On that two seamer. That really is a go to pitch against lefties. Oh and two. And if you're hitting off it, those last two pitches. Sinker first pitch cutter second pitch. Imagine the ball coming at your straight line, one going one way, one going the other way right at the end. And that's what those two pitches are. That's a great two pitch sequence. In a perfect location. And a bit of an overthrow. It's one and two. I'm trying to elevate. Easy take. Just can't pull the trigger. You see that thing early. You are completely convinced it's inside. And then here comes the movement. Bang! Right on the inside corner, it hits the glove. So here's Crawford. Crawford had a nice double down the left field line in the third inning. Rolls this one to Young at third, and that'll end the inning. So Kendrick did a nice job of picking up Michael Young, who made the air here in the fourth. 3 2 Phillies.
Carlos Cepeda hit a tape measure home run. It helped the Giants beat the Phillies 7 0 at Connie Mack Stadium. The three run homer off of Robin Roberts cleared the roof for the second deck. And they said the drive went more than 500 feet. Cepeda, lifetime against the Hall of Famer Robin Roberts, 254, two home runs, 11 RBIs. Here's Utley, Utley Young and Howard, 3 2, Phillies. Utley hits a long one into deep right center field. Pence is looking up and it is gone. Home run number seven for Utley. And that was no cheapy either. Looking for something off speed and getting what he's looking for. Got some backspin on the deepest part of this yard. And when a left hander can take one out here, he's flexing his muscles. Yeah. Here's Michael Young. Young takes a strike and it's 0 and 1. Sandoval on a nice play and they get Young. Well, that was a last play. You don't have time to think about this one. Watch Sandoval just basically take a little half step with his right foot and then fall to his backhand. But watch how he 360s into a stance, quickly gets to his back leg, squares and hits his target. Blows Boom. a bubble. Blows a bubble. Yeah, in the midst, blows a bubble. Here's Howard. Howard is one for one, a single and a walk. No balls in one strike. Scooter O playing in shallow right field. Crawford to the right of second base. The knees one and two. Scooter off from deep right field. Nice play. Two down. Another shift certainly worked there. Hey, Thursday, May 9th, the Giants take on the Atlanta Braves at 7:15. That night is also the Giants' annual food drive presented by Visa. This year's donation will be benefiting the San Francisco and Marin food banks. The first 5,000 fans who donate food or five dollars to one of the food bank donation barrels at the gates will receive a Giants World Champions tote bag. If you're coming out to the ballpark on Thursday, May 9th, please support this great cause. Here's Carlos Ruiz who hit into a double play in the third inning. A couple guys that Brought their hats, their lids. 3 0 to Ruiz. Rockies beat the Yankees tonight. They shut them out 2 0 in Denver on a night where it looked like it rained the entire ball game. 3 and 1 to Ruiz. Denver has really had some crazy weather this spring. Pulled foul. Now, there have been a lot of games lost this year. Kansas City has lost a handful of games. But Denver's had a lot of snow. Giants will see Denver for four days on the next road trip. 
two in Toronto, four in Denver. scooter has got it, and that'll end the inning. The home run by Utley. It's now back to a two-run lead. Phillies four, Giants two. by Chevron. It'll be Jonathan Pettibone against Barry Zito. You can join us right here on Comcast Sportsnet Bay Area at noon. Giants pregame live before the first pitch right around 12:45. That's our Chevron pitching matchup. So Lincecum followed by Pagan and then Scudero. Bottom of the fifth. Kendrick has really spotted that two seam fastball beautifully tonight. I feel appreciated. Thanks. Room 17 Elementary. My class rocks. They got her tickets. That's a good class. That is a good class. She's teaching them well. 0 2 to Lincecum as he lifts this one foul. Lincecum trying to reach here in the fifth. Make it tough on Kendrick. And he got him looking. Again, front door sinker. Well, the NBC Bay Area investigative unit led by Tony Kovaleski. Well, they're an award winning team of 14 journalists dedicated to holding the powerful accountable. The investigative unit on NBC Bay Area, we investigate. Kendrick has struck out three of the last four Giants hitters, all on front door sink, being the payoff pitch. Here's Pagan, who's 0 for 1. Big Angel fans. You can see the fog that has rolled into this park has reached ground level. Don rolls it foul. That'll kick past Dan Bellino. Only in San Francisco. I love it. You know, a few things came over to AT&T from Candlestick, and the fog was one of them.
I've told the story before, but first couple of games I did with Joe Morgan back in Giants Vision days. I said, yep, the clouds are rolling in. And Joe was like, what? <laughs> did you just say clouds? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Well, he's a, a Northern Californian. He under, understands what that really was. Three and one to Pagan. Well, in Sturdivant, Wisconsin, those are clouds. Scooter O on deck. Giants looking for a base runner or two. And that's skied through the fog for Ben Revere. Two outs. I thought that was a pretty good bet. Thought he was able to hang in there with that front door sinker a whole lot better this at bat than he did his previous two. Well, you can all call the fourth inning the inning of the front door sinker. I mean, he really has used that side of the plate this time through the lineup. Here's Scudero. Scudero doubled in the Giants' second run. He did that in the third inning. The Dodgers and D-backs are tied two to two. That game is in the fifth inning at Dodger Stadium. Breaking ball is inside. One ball and one strike. Scooter O is going to flip one into left field for a base hit. Starting to get that magic wand working. He sure is. I mean, it's now almost like he's averaging a couple of hits a game now as he's building his batting average. Pretty good home stand for him. And they are ready for Pablo Sandoval to hit. Oh, yeah. And so are they. You guys think that they're going to play Sandoval in the right spot. Are you playing them to pull? Are they going back to fall territory? Uh, I think they may have to. They're going to their lucky spot. It's like a fishing hole. And Sandoval on the first pitch taps this one to Kendrick. And Kendrick tags them and that ends the inning. All right, guys. You can go back. 4-2 Phillies.
and we've got a new Diamond Girls for Giants fans up and ready at CSNBerry.com. Guys, it's with Amanda Hathaway, soon to be Amanda Noonan. That's right, it's Nick Noonan's fiance. We talk about upcoming wedding plans in November. And gentlemen, Miss Amanda was a collegiate softball player, and she has taught Nick a thing or two. Find out what it is, CSNBerry.com. All right, Amy, we'll check that out as here's Dominic Brown. And Brown hammers this one just foul. Tell you what, they've got inside. He's covered him. I think a lot of teams have been pitching this guy inside. He's long armed. And he's just wheeling that front side open. And, and he's guessed right a couple times. Guessed right last night, hit a long home run. Foul at the plate for Dominic Brown. He struck out and he's bounced out. Two and two. Next pitch for Linscombe will be number 90. Hey, there's some authentic fans. And a full count. Dogs here. He's out there growling. Vince will come will underhand this one to Bell. Here's Lance Nix. He's seen two pitches. He's two for two. Oh, he likes the first pitch. Hey, when you're away from the Bay Area and you can't watch the Giants on Comcast Sportsnet, you can take your team with you with MLB.tv. Visit MLB.tv to order and get more details. Baseball everywhere. And Nips takes a strike and it's 0-1. Jose Pence and Blanco will hit in the bottom of this inning. And that's bounce foul. Nationals got rained out today in our nation's capital. There it is. Postponed. Those are big time games of concern. You're doing interleague play because you're you're the Nationals. You're not going to Detroit. Oh, triple header. And Lipscomb wins round three with his six strikeout. Perfect pitch with the fastball right above the hands. Makes an aggressive swinger. He sees this one good. And he just cannot keep that top hand above it. Grab some pine meat. Here's Ben Revere. Belt on one hop, juggles it, steps on the bag, and Buster Posey's going to lead things off. Posey, Pence, and Blanco for two Phillies.
Vince. You talk about Buster Posey. You look at how he started out at the beginning of the year and how often he chased off speed pitches. He was hitting 095 on off speed pitch. He was chasing a lot. Now, since April 18th, he's chasing less. He's identifying them more. And he is starting to scald. All about recognition. Start to string days together as a hitter. So important in establishing your strike zone. If you think back to the spring training, there are a lot of days where he played two, take a two, like two days off. He didn't really string the at-bats together. And it wasn't until the season started that he was able to do that. And it took him about two weeks to get his strike zone. And once he did, he's been on a tear. He singled to lead off the fourth. And here he takes low. I suppose he 29 for 101. It's underneath this one into center field as Ben Rivera will drift back. One out. I think he hit that ball pretty good. Yeah, he did. Not good enough for this place. I like that. I think it was last year or the year before they, they were talking to Buster Posey about a number of balls that he had hit hard to the warning track that were outs. And uh, he asked some questions and they were leading questions. Uh, about well, I mean, doesn't this ballpark frustrate you? You had five balls hit to the warning track, and what did he say? I just have to hit the ball a little further. He did not bite. Pence is 0 for two. Blanco on deck, sixth inning. Tapped Rollins Rollins gets rid of it quickly and they got him. I don't know if they got him on the tag or. Did Ryan Howard stay in contact with the bag. The play really was made was how quickly. Jimmy Rollins got rid of the ball. He knows Hunter Pence. He played with Hunter Pence and he knows he's got good speed. He had to hurry. The release. Looked like he did stay in contact with the bag. Good call. Here's Blanco. Blanco's 0 for 2. Blanco trying to reach for belt. One ball and one strike. Blanco's average right now at 280. And Kendrick just misses with that front door sinker. It's two balls and one strike. What a weapon that pitch has been for him tonight. Neutralized a lot of left handed at bats. Two and two. He's right in front. The writers section of the press box here at AT&T Park. Blanco way out in front rolls this one to Utley. And that's a one two three inning for Kyle Kendrick. Kendrick will lead things off as we head to the seventh.
Comcast Sportsnet Bay Area. So it's Kendrick to lead things off. And Kendrick looks at a strike. Kendrick is 0 for 1. 4 2 Philadelphia. We have reached the seventh inning. Lincecum allowed a run in the first, two in the second, and the Utley home run in the fifth. Pretty good hack there by Kyle Kendrick. Oh, yeah, Sharon. It's like fish and chips. Kendrick gets a piece. Next pitch for let's come will be a hundred. Think back at the end of two innings. I mean he was. Almost 45 pitches. Got him. It's amazing how he has always been able to find rhythm as the game has worn on. He could get him through that one. Cold spell early when he's searching for his release. Things have a tendency to iron out. He gave it the three runs in the two innings. In the first two innings, he faced 12 guys. Sharing here as well. Here's Rollins. Rollins is 0 for 3. <laughs> Fun dessert to share. Just missed. Rollins shoots it into left field, right past Sandoval. That's a one out single. And now Utley, who's been problematic for Lincecum, is coming up. It's also stolen base time. It's like Mihar is getting ready to get down and heat it up in the Giants bullpen. Pitch count certainly a concern of Bruce Bochy. Swing and a miss by Utley. And it's 0 1. Utley, infield hit in the first. An RBI single up the middle in the second, and then a long home run way out over Triples Alley in the fifth inning. Big bouncing ball to Scudero. Scudero only play is at first. Is Utley's retired. Rollins moves into scoring position. And here's Young. Young has hit the ball hard twice. He's flown out to deep right field and then Sandoval made a terrific play on a backhand. To take a hit away from him in the fifth and he had. Good at bats last night and he's had good at bats tonight. And here he shoots this one down the right field line and he's got another good at bat. This is going to knock in Rollins. The throw to second base is not in time, and it's 5 2. Tell you what, you talk about a great approach. He is locked in. He hadn't had a bad at bat this, in this series. A little, little fastball that it, 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 they wanted it away. It comes right back into Michael Young. Just stays inside a beautiful slices it down the line for a two bagger and an RBI. That's a big run. Forty two pitches after two innings with a thirty one pitch first. And 
an 18 pitch third. I mean, after that, he just settled in. Pretty consistent 11 to 13 pitches every inning. That's good. That's what you want. Maybe Getty wants 14 pitches or less per inning. So here's Carlos Ruiz. Ruiz is 0 for 3. Inside corner and it's 0 and 1. With the slider. Go to pitch when he needs to get that strike zone. He's got a quick advantage of one. Two pitches, two off speed pitches, and a quick 0 2. This will be the last hitter he faces tonight. Down low, blocked by Buster Posey. Good block. will knock this one down and flip on the belt and that'll end the inning. A run on two hits, two left. Giants have some work to do. The Phillies leading 5 2. Peter McGowan here with his wife Debbie tonight. There's Peter. Peter looking for a free bag of peanuts? I don't think so. Yeah. And there's Debbie. Here's Belt. Belt pops up the first pitch. It's Hutley. One out. Stay tuned immediately after Giants baseball for Esurance Giants post game live highlights, reaction, analysis, and it's all coming up right after the game. So here's Crawford.
Crawford doubled in the third and then he bounced out to third in the fourth. Nick Noonan on deck. Crawford's got a base hit into right field. Two hit night for Crawford. Well, the Atlanta Braves are coming to San Francisco. They'll be here this weekend starting on Thursday, a four game series, May 9th through the 12th. And Saturday, May 11th, the first 20,000 fans will receive a Giants announcer bottle stopper courtesy of C's Candies. And then on Mother's Day, Sunday, May 12th, the first 20,000 fans will receive a world champion's charm necklace presented by Genentech. So you need tickets, go to sfgiants.com. <laughs> I want to get that. I want to get that. I want to get that. Here's Noonan. Crawford at first. Noonan at the plate. And Noonan looks at a strike. No bullpen activity for the Phillies. The first time every left handed hitter has seen that front door sinker against Kendrick, they have frozen. Nobody has even gotten a swing on it. And Ruiz going right back in there again. Quickly, the winner from last night. He went eight innings, five hits, two runs, no walks, six strikeouts. I'll tell you how dominant Kendrick has been tonight. Only one three ball count the whole night. Winning center field. But Ben Revere will put it away. Ben Revere can cover some ground, folks. Two outs, and here's Pagan. Pagan is 0 for 2 with a sacrifice fly. So Pagan trying to extend this inning. To get to Scudero and then to get to the big fellas, the beef. And that pitch is down low, one ball and no strikes. Talked about Pagan's last at bat, how he was starting to identify that front door sinker early and he was having better swings on it. Pagan lifts this one high and foul. See the pitch count by inning nine in the first, 12 in the third, just one inning the third when the Giants scored their two runs as he got over the Preferred 14. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And it's a bit high. Two balls in one strike. Santa Volt. Wanting to hit this inning. There are a lot of things that are good to the Giants have to have before he can get in that batter's box. Ooh, a good swing by Pagan, and it's now two and two. You're right, he was on that. And those are things you see from the side if you're Charlie Manuel. Skipper of the Phillies or Rich Doobie, the pitching coach, you start to see guys get timing and those foul balls going straight back. It's rare that you see a guy get four at bats against a starting pitcher. 
You're right. Here we are in the seventh. Pagan hitting for the fourth time. And he tried to get him with that pitch. And it's now a full count. Well, two outs, you know, you're going to get the runner going. Crawford will be on the move. It's three and two. And this pop to left field for Dominic Brown. And that'll end the inning. So we'll head to the eighth. It remains 5 2 Phillies. No way! Toyota Game Summary brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Kendrick has been fantastic. Lincecum got roughed up for five earned runs. Utley hit a long home run in this game. He's got three hits. And Marco Scudero's got a couple of hits for the Giants. It's 5 2 Philadelphia. And it's time for a change. Think Speedy Oil Change and Tune Up. Your oil change tune up and smog experts. Was Amy Harris coming in now? Just back joined and activated with the team yesterday. His grandmother passed away in his native country of Venezuela. He went back home. And this is out of play, club level. Nothing in two. One of the really great things that the Players Association of Major League Baseball has agreed upon is the bereavement list. Before, the only time you could leave a team was on a disabled list. Otherwise, you, you left for two or three or four days and they had to go shorthand over 24 guys. Nice slider. All right, let's check in with Amy G. All right, Dwayne and Mike, during this series, Philly fans, they don't like orange and black. Giants fans, they don't like red and blue. Here's a couple of colors everyone can agree on. Jimmy Rollins and Kevin Franzen like royal blue and golden yellow, and they donned their Warriors t-shirt yesterday in support of their Bay Area team, both of them, of course, from the Bay Area. Franny from San Jose and Jimmy is from Alameda, and they are sending the Warriors their best as they take on the Spurs again tomorrow night. Tough loss last night, but what a game, guys. It was a tough loss. You know, it's one of those losses where. All right, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't either. Up by 14 with four to go. You think you're feeling pretty good. It's John Mayberry.
And that's a line drive foul. Mike, I want to go back to you. you were talking about the bereavement and how you can take seven days. And it, it's no secret that teams will fudge with the disabled list. A guy may be just dinged a little bit to play around with the roster. Nobody messes with the bereavement list. They do not. And it's a seven day list. And you can come back within two or three days. Yeah. It's one and two and that's unusual for baseball because it's just kind of the way things are done right you. Try a little something here to. Mess with the roster but the bereavement list. Uh -uh. And maternity list. Crawford will charge. Get under control and throw a seed to belt two out. We want to wish you get well to John Turner a buddy of ours. He's been a fantasy camper for many years. He's. The under the weather, so JT, get well, meet. Mike Adams finishing off his warm up throws. He will pitch the eighth inning. I think the Giants are okay with that. Well, you're right. Anything gets Kyle Kendrick out of the game, he's been that good tonight. Giant fan and Philly fan. Quiet ride home for somebody. That's very true. And this is going to get away from Scudero as he had to cover the bag. And getting into second base is Ben Revere. A lot going on on that play. So all of a sudden the speed of Ben Revere he's standing at second base. Number 28 Kevin Franzen. Kevin Franzen taking his at bat good to see him back in the big leagues. There's a big Kevin Franzen fan. So here's Franson hitting at 261. And he takes a strike at the knees and it's 0 and 1. Four for 11 as a pinch hitter. Yep, Kevin Franz and fans everywhere. Made a lot of friends here when he played for the Giants. You would expect that from a local kid who makes it to the big leagues with the team that he grew for as a kid. Two balls and one strike. And that's out of play, two and two. Kevin Francis, first major league hit, maybe you remember. And in 2006, right back up the middle. He did have three hits that day. Well, it was a day that he'll never forget, or any of his friends or family members. Two and two. In the dirt, it's now a full count. A back foot slide in the dirt. Fish were not biting. Now he doesn't just have to challenge here. He's got a base at first to play with. And with two outs, really, he's got two bases. So make a good pitch here. That's a big run out there at second base. And the walk. It's a good pitch. That pitch right there is just trying to take advantage of a hitter. 
who wants to swing the bat who will go out of the strike zone when there's a runner in score position. And from Franson's perspective, pretty good discipline to lay off. Here's Rollins, and Rollins takes a strike on the inside corner. She's a big Gregor Blanco fan. The great white shark. Yep. You just can tell. You give our fans a chance to put something on their head and they'll do it. Oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Caution. Seagulls. Rollins fouls it out of play. It's one and two. Seagulls overhead. Thank you for the warning. This guy is not concerned about the Seagulls. One ball and two strikes. He got him in that late in the inning. Giants need some runs. Marco Scudero will lead things off. Xfinity, home of the most live sports. Well, get up to the minute, the minute you're up with Today in the Bay. See breaking news, your weather forecast, and real-time traffic. Watch Today in the Bay. Weekdays starting at 4.30 a.m. on NBC Bay Area. It's 5-2 Philadelphia. When it's time for a change, think speedy, oil change, and tune-up here. Oil change tune up and smog experts. Mike Adams, the new pitcher now for Philadelphia. And for Mike Adams, you may remember him when he was a member of the Padres. Yeah, good stuff. He's got a low 90s fastball. He'll two seam and four seam it. He's got a good curveball, a slider, change up. He'll throw everything. It's like taking a bat off a late inning reliever who's a starter. That's the type of stuff he has. So here's Scudero. And Scudero takes low and away. Mike Adams one and two on the year with a 3.0 ERA. But get this 12 innings pitch. He has struck out 17 against five walks. He's given up 10 hits. A couple of those hits home runs. So 
that hits the outside corner at the knees. It's one ball and one strike. Goudreau trying to get on for Pablo Sandoval. And he shoots this one out of play. It's one and two. Scudero 0 for 2 lifetime against Adams. This guy is going with the skipper jersey. One ball and two strikes. Last night it was Lee for eight and then Papelbon. Tonight Kendrick goes seven. Two and two. Stay tuned for the post game wrap in just a little bit and Mike will also talk about the game. With the morning guys Murph and Mac tomorrow morning on KMBR 680. Ben Revere runs underneath that one like there's nothing to it. One out. It's going to lightning first step. And he needed it to get up to that one. That ball was hit well. Scudero's had a good night with a bat. So here's Sandoval with one out. Now he had time. Came into that. Break him out. Sandoval is 0 for 3. Staying away. They pretty much stayed away all night to Sandoval. When they've come in, they've come in bad. Sandoval 2 for 11 against Adams' lifetime, so he knows him quite well. And that's the thing about Adams that I think makes him unique. It not only will he give you four different looks, really five different types of movement if you think about the two seam, four seam fastball, but he'll throw anything at any time. And, and he's got corner command with everything, and that includes that curveball. So Adams out in front of Sandoval. Very quickly, 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. 5 2, Phillies. We are in the eighth. And Sandoval is going to have a base hit right up the middle. Well, another example of, of the type of two strike adjustments that he's learned to make at this level, which is why he hits for average. Now, you see him swing violently a lot, but in two strike scenarios, he'll take a swing off, or take swing out, and he'll go back up the middle. That is not a hanger. That's a good pitch. It's an impressive at bat. Good hit. Keep the line moving. This is the time of the lineup where you need to get some production if you're going to come back in this game down three. Here's Buster Posey. He's one for three. Adams 
jumps out in front of Buster Posey. No balls in one strike. 0 for 3. That's Posey against Adams lifetime. Yeah, two ground outs and a strikeout. Drops a breaking ball in there for a strike. Good curveball and a good one. That's 78 miles per hour. So Posey now has the battle. A one and two. Same curveball, just stretched it out wide of the zone, hoping he'd get a guy to chase. And we talked about how Posey has been identifying off-speed sp stuff much, much better since the first two weeks of the season. And that's a good example of it right there. Not chasing, laying off it. Got him. So he set the fastball up with three breaking balls, and on a one-two pitch, he hummed them right above the the hands inside corner. Excellent command of the fastball, and Posey was late. So here's Pence. Pence has never had a hit off of. Adams, he's 0 for 6. And he starts him off with a fastball for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. I don't think he was sitting on fastball speed. If you ever heard the phrase pitching a guy backwards, that's how Adams pitched Posey. Slider, curveball, curveball, and then the fastball. Back of the day in high school, it's fastball, 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 get to a two strike count, then throw your curveball, see you later. Hence, pitching backwards. Break a ball, break a ball, break a ball, fastball. When we first saw Mike Adams with the Padres, his fastball would go 94, 96. And he has lost about four feet as the wear and tear is taking some of his velocity away. Cutter inside corner. And either Hunter Pence is looking another speed or he's looking middle away. Both times they've gone at him on the inside corner. And he's taken both of them. Well, now he's way behind in the count. And he got him. And that'll end the inning. So we'll head to the ninth. It remains. Phillies five, Giants two.
take on the Phillies for game three of this three game series. It's a 12:30 start pregame live at noon. You'll see right here in Comcast Sports that Bay Area. Scheduled pitchers for tomorrow. For the Giants, it's going to be Barry Zito, and for Philadelphia, it will be the right-hander Jonathan Pettibone. We'll be here. We're going to get a good night's sleep, and we're going to be on our game tomorrow. Yes, we are. Here's Utley facing Miharis, and it's one ball and no strikes. And a strike to Utley, who's hit a home run tonight. He's got three hits. These guys are talking to them. You just lean over and talk to your guy, right? Well, you would think. Hey, but when you got the minutes, might as well use them. He's waving at you smooth. Two balls in one strike and Utley pops this one straight up. This is going to be right around the mound area and it's going to be Crawford who will back up and put it away. We're just waiting for the baby giraffe to hit and he will hit second in the ninth. Gamer babes. What would we do without him? Here's Michael Young. Young has had four good at bats. He's an Angel fan. Taps this one foul. His last at bat, a two out double down the right field line to knock in the fifth run in this game off of Tim Lincecum. Yeah, he really has looked balanced in this series. Hunter Pence will move back. Two down. Tell you what, his Amy Harris does not look like he's got any rust on him at all. No, not at all. He missed a week on the bereavement list, and he has picked it right up since coming back. So here's Ryan Howard, who's walked twice. A little off that slide. I mean, almost like a curveball. You see Jonathan Papelbon, the closer for the Phillies, getting heated up. Hit very high and deep. Pagan at the wall. It is gone. And the big fella got into one, and he hits it over the visa sign, and it's now 6-2. Okay, if that swing right there didn't remind you of Willie McCovey. Nothing else ever will. That is a big man's home run right there. And we've seen two of those tonight. They head the count. Gets it right out of the middle of the play. We're talking T ball location. And watch this power off the backside. Boom. Great extension through the ball. That was loud, folks. And Ruiz hits this one into the hole. Crawford's got it. And now he just could not get it out of his glove. 
Because he was about to throw out Carlos Ruiz. The home run, by the way, for Howard is sixth. So here's Dominic Brown. Brown with a high pop up that Sandoval is going to have to scoot. And he's going to run into or very close to the ball, dude. And it's out of play. That's a stressful time if you're a ball, dude. <laughs> you don't know where to go. All right, let's watch him. Hey, yeah. I'm saying at that particular time, he. He could have done a better job. Yeah, maybe like look to see where the ball was. Blanco moving back as that ball starts to carry, and that'll end the inning. So the home run makes it a four-run lead for the Phillies with Blanco to lead things off. Bay Area. 6 2 Phillies. When it's time for a change, think speedy oil change and tune up. Your oil change tune up and smog experts. Jonathan Papelbon, the new pitcher for Philadelphia. Papelbon of the year, no record with a 1.50 ERA. He's got five saves. In 12 innings, he is allowed. Six base runners, five by way of the hit, one walk. He has struck out seven. And when you take your bats off him, you're going to see a loaded mid fat, mid 90s fastball, pretty straight, good hard slider, and a split. And his split is legit. He throws it hard. One of the hardest splits in the game. Well, he'll have to get through three left handed hitters. The Six, seven, and eighth place hitter in this Giants lineup. And it will be Blanco who's hitless. Blanco is 0 for 3. All right. It is rally halftime. It is officially rally halftime. Blanco bluffing a bunt and he takes a strike. In that third is Young. Young still thinking that Blanco might lay down a bunt. And he takes the pitch high. See Howard also. 
couple of steps beyond the bag at first. Giants need base runners any way they can get them. And this is popped up for Jimmy Rollins. One out. Blanco 0 for 4 tonight. Here's Belt. Belt singled in the third inning. Yeah, they got to try to change something here. All right. Yeah, they're, they're working the mojo. Give them credit. They're trying. Turn that giraffe hat inside out. <laughs> they, they haven't left their seats. They're staying to the end. And they're still having a lot of fun. But right now, the Giants need to make some happen. Something happen. Belt off his fist, fouls it out of play. Nice plant job with that fastball in the hands, middle, right on the hands. Beautiful pitch. Belt foul. And they're making no bones about it. I mean, they're exaggerating that target from Carlos Ruiz. They're really setting up inside. Yeah, I, don't, I think Brandon Belt has a pretty good idea how they're going after him. Pepelbon started to walk off. It's one and two. Uh, it's just good use of the fastball. He two, four seed but twice on the hands. A nice little cut that had movement running into him. And then in an 0 2, he goes to the outside corner with a two seed fastball with that movement running away. I mean, those are, that's a great 0 2 pitch. Still hasn't showed him the split of the slider. And there was the split. And look at the velocity 86 miles per hour. Two and two. Belt pops it up. It'll be Mayberry in right field who puts it away. All right. Keep the faith, girls. Here's Crawford. All right. Change. We're going to go back to this hat. Crawford's had a good night. Here he takes low and away. A good night. Well, he doubled in the third. Bounced out to third in the fourth. And singled into right field in the seventh. Fouls this one out of play. One ball and one strike. A little tardy on that 1-0 fastball. Four and five hitters watching Crawford hit. All back. One and two. Sometimes a mislocation could be a pretty good pitch. They set that target on the outside corner. 
Kind of had a little sling in his delivery, but it wound up being a, a fastball right on the inside corner to hands. Good pitch. Hey, Gamer Babe got it. Waited all night. Crawford shoots it off the top of the backstop. Andres Torres has grabbed the bat. He's on deck. Crawford making it a little tough on Papelbon. That ball hit the bar, and it's a good thing Ruiz turned around to see what was going on because it came back, and Ruiz caught it. Could have put a bruise on his back. Seagulls are coming in. Yeah, this is a heck of a at bat. That last pitch was perfect for Papelbon. It had some fuzz on it. Brandon Crawford fought, fought it off. And Crawford strikes out to end the ball game. So game two in this three game series it goes to the. Philadelphia Phillies and for the second game in a row. The Phillies starting pitching has been fabulous. Well you're right I mean as, as good as Cliff Lee was last night Kyle Kendrick was better tonight. He was fantastic with that sinker using both sides of the plate. And his bullpen was almost perfect seven hitters in the eighth and ninth inning combined. And uh, that's what got tip your cap to. All right, final score here at AT&T Park: the Phillies six and the Giants two. East Sharon's Giants post game live with interviews and the wrap is coming up. But first, let's go to the Sportsnet Central studio for this update. 